Alrighty, what is up guys? Click on this video, that means you want to learn how to play Barbarian starting off because it, sometimes it can be a struggle uh, just trying to live and avoid taking damage. Uh, so I'm going to try to show you a starter kit to try and, and run. Uh, we'll be talking in this video about perks, uh, skills, and I want to, and then I'll talk a little bit more about like some techniques I use too to try to avoid uh, some of the issues you might have as a Barbarian. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it with perks. So starting off with perks, we're going to talk about, uh, kind of, I'll try to help you guys figure out the first perk. And then when you level up the second perk, third perk, kind of help you with that. Uh, in the future, I will do a video on a full guide of what, once you have money and gear and you're fully leveled up, you can have all the perks that I will help you figure out the ideal build. So starting off X specialization uh adding the weapon damage this is a good perk but starting off it, it it's better to combine it with another perk which i'll get to in a little bit when i get to it um so it's good but i would wait until you have the second perk unlocked uh I, it'll combine with executioner okay so x specialization and executioner are an amazing duo build as starting off uh, so, but I wouldn't run them by themselves. They do a little bit more damage. They are nice to have, but they're not significant enough without each other. That I would prefer another. I would say you prefer another uh, perk for that. Uh, so yes, if you if you level up and you get to level five, I would be running executioner and uh, act specialization. So next for berserker, this is fine i don't personally like it enough because of the percentage increase but you have to take damage first uh just for me i haven't had much of an impact on it because within the fight you might get the first hit off without not a lot of damage taken and then the next time you swing you might already be dead by then so you don't have time to wait to be one health to uh attack them and do some damage so i as a first perk i wouldn't use this um, i wouldn't even use it as a second or third perk even i would if you really want to use it you might want to use it when you have a fully leveled class because that's just as there's other perks that are way more beneficial right now so leading on to that we are going to talk about the carnage so the strength increase is good if you kill target but keep in mind if you are doing like solo running i wouldn't run this perk uh because it's you need a kill it's good to kill someone then leap to the next person and start killing them in the seven seconds there's really no benefit like goblin caves running this at all uh so and you're most likely going to be running goblin caves so i would avoid this uh in a normal comp if you were doing three man or two man you can run it i personally prefer it when i have a full build okay it's a lot better with a full build because you need you want to build that can kill them quick so you can benefit from this quicker and keep on going on because you only have so much health you can only tank so much so you need to be kind of wary of that uh, for that next we're going to talk about crush i really personally like this perk um as a first perk though i you can kind of use it this would be one of the two perks i would use as your first one and there's a reason for that for one you want to try to clear out rooms quick so that includes breaking containers quickly to kind of loot it all Keep on going because if you want to avoid a fight but still make good money at the end of the match this is what you're going to want or if let's say someone's chasing you trying to get away um barbarian has such a slow interaction speed that destroying it with the door might be the better option for that the most important factor of why i like it is its impact power if you're someone that is dealing with a lot of long swords or shields lately or just having problems with that as you play uh, this is really good because the impact power knocks them back for a little longer than the normal swing, giving you enough time to actually almost hit them. It depends on the weapon you use as a starting axe. Uh, you might still struggle a little bit with it, but it, it'll push them back enough to kind of give you an opportunity to hit them so they can't, don't have time to set up for you. Um, so it's really good against blocks and parries, like it says. So I talked about the ex executioner. Use those two together. Uh, we're going to talk about the Iron Will. So this is good if you are having wizard problems, okay? If wizards are just destroying you every single game, I would I would then, yes, run it if you're having issues. 
Um, I don't personally run it uh, for a little bit. I might use it if I'm not using these two. I'll use Iron Will and Crush, um, just so I can have try to live. I'm trying to live. I'm trying to make money. If that's what you're trying to do, I would I would run it. But as a first starter uh, perk, I wouldn't, because your goal as a barbarian is to put the damage output quicker than you take the damage, because you don't want to to be doing a little bit of damage but just resisting because because these resistances all the all the stuff to try to help you stay alive isn't going to keep you alive start at the beginning you're not you're still gonna get shredded by uh classes if you don't kill them quick enough so i would uh i would definitely not run this as the first perk so like i said second perk third perk yes that's fine fourth perk yes it is a good perk it's just not what I would consider a good perk at the beginning unless you're having issues with wizards. Now the moral boost where it recovered 12% of your HP after killing players. This can be good. Um, I would say it's kind of like Carnage where it's really good in, in, in uh, two man lobbies or three man going to the crypts or the ruins. I think it's better in those than it is in goblin caves. 10% isn't bad, but you that's kind of like you're gaining like 10 health right and you have 130 health it's like almost 11 health or whatever it is so it's it's fine but a potion does more than that than that perk does so the benefit of, of that isn't as significant unless you're getting into another fight right after that which that's just situational and it's not it's not as impa impactful as something that is just generally good so i would i wouldn't put this as a first perk you can put it as later perk too but as a first perk i don't now potion chugger this one is it can be good later beginning it's not because this is a guide for starter so you, that means no money or even if you just have a little bit of money you running potion chugger is only beneficial if you're going to be buying like three potions okay if you can't afford that and you're trying to avoid that i would just avoid this perk altogether because it'll only be good if you have a significant amount of potions, which starting off you don't. So don't run that if you're at the beginning. It's not worth it. Uh, HP increase. This really isn't that significant. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. It isn't that significant. Uh, if you had more HP overall because of later gear, yes, it can be good. But you're starting off 130 health, 10% health increase isn't going to be significant you go from 130 to 143 that's 13 more health you can maybe avoid like a weaker weapon hit okay that's you can avoid a weaker weapon hit but honestly you like i was saying before you want to dish out the damage quick you don't want to worry about just taking one more hit you want to just go up to them and one shot them that's your goal uh on to that we talk about savage now this perk this would be the perk i would recommend running out of all of these perks, first perk, Savage. Reasons, you do, you aren't going to have a body armor for a, a long while. Barbarians with body armor is not the easiest thing to come by, so you're most likely going to be running Savage um, as a starter perk. The 10% physical damage bonus increase is really significant. You start off with 15% with basic Barbarian. You throw this on, you're doing 25% physical power. This is really good in my opinion. It really helps me dish out a lot of damage as a single perk at the beginning. Uh, the only classes you might have problems with is fighters because of the PDR, but the, the beginning fighters are all like cloth. They're all, you know, they, they don't have much for PDR. So you'll be able to still shred them if it's a lot more geared one. You might have a little bit more problems, but regardless of that, it still increases your physical power. You're still going to be doing more damage than your original damage would do. Um, but you're just going to have some resistance to this thing off. Uh, and then two-hander, honestly, it's not impactful enough of a perk. Um, even I don't personally use it even out of all my four perks. I just don't use it because right now, Horseman's Axe, Felling Axes are really good. Um, and I don't know, it's just running... If you run a Horseman's Axe, you're running a Wizard or someone that's buffing you in a three-man... Uh, and you're using Horseman's Axe, this is pretty pointless. If you're running solo and you're running the double axe, then yes. But as we're talking mainly starter axe, so I wouldn't run it. Over Carnage, I wouldn't, or over Savage, I wouldn't run it. Uh, 
but yeah that would be for perks that's what i would recommend uh savage first perk when you level up the five i would run executioner act specialization and then if you still just don't have a lot of money and you're still having these issues and you get the third perk i would run act specialization executioner and savage you're not going to be very healthy but trust me you're probably going to one shot everyone in the lobby with your beginning acts um and then yeah that's that's what i would recommend uh definitely uh savage first perk starter kit leading to act specialization execution all right we're gonna move on to skills now um so with barbarian skills i personally think almost all of them are good okay most of them you can change out if you want to majority of them are good uh the only ones i would steer clear from as starting off is blood exchange and life siphon so the reasons i would tell you to stay away is blood exchange reduces your max health by uh 25 percent for six seconds um you have to attack them to get that health back okay it's kind of like i mean it, it's like a vampire right you're losing max health but if you're like really low like five health or whatever it's good on to try to heal up from that but honestly you're not gonna get enough benefits from this as of right now so i would avoid this uh life siphon losing your health you need your health right now the plus for all attributes is nice but starting barb plus for all attributes isn't gonna do anything okay you're gonna get a little bit more damage out a little bit more health it's not gonna be significant enough to lose the health your job is to kill them quick all attributes might help with that a little bit but it, it doesn't have later later in the in in barb life when you got like really good kits you got plus all attributes on all your items sure i can see this being really helpful um but as at the beginning just adding it is isn't enough plus four to a barbarian isn't enough uh, of a use for you to use it so i would i would avoid that now if you are doing goblin caves or ruins or you're by yourself or with one other dude um, and you're, you you want to run pure damage, okay? And you're not much of a, an assistant. You can play Barbarian as someone that helps you and your teammates a little bit, or you can play as a Barb that does pure damage, okay? The build I would completely recommend is Achilles Strike. Right now is severely good, okay? It is top of the food chain because no matter what you chuck at your opponent, uh, throwing axe, or even if you hit them, it'll do a significant amount of damage. I mean, it's a lot. Especially if you combine it with the perks I was telling you earlier, it does a lot of damage. So if you want high damage, run that. And then I would also run Rage. These these two are my ideal like build because Rage increases your strength and your movement. You do, get, uh, you do take a little more damage, but if you can run to them quick with your Axe, Get a good swing of Achilles Strike on them. You are doing a significant amount of damage because the ankle damage, the ten physical damage to the ankle, actually gets increased with your strength. So if you do the strength and hit them with Achilles Strike, you can do a, a, a remarkable amount of damage on top of your already axe hitting them, right? And then the perks that increase their the damage more. So this is heavy damage. I would I would recommend running this. However the best uh team friendly or even new friendly perk or skill or whatever to to run is the savage roar this is really good if you're new um just new to the game in general this is really helpful this will frighten the enemies make them stop moving make them turn around they will avoid attacking you uh this will really help if you're having issues avoiding damage if the goblins just keep slashing you and you keep taking poison damage and you're just sick of it this will really help you stop that. They will try to run away. So as a barbarian, you're going to struggle trying to hit them if they do that. So just keep that in mind. It, it, it doesn't work all the time, but it is it's super helpful when it does. Um, it also is really helpful in team fights. If you're running with a three man, this is really helpful because there's some rooms that are just surrounded by mobs. And if, if your buddies and you are struggling to clear it out, this will help your team. And... It is really helpful against players because it reduces their physical damage. So any of the physical damage guys on their team, this will reduce the, the amount of damage they're going to do to you and your teammates. So this can be really helpful if you're engaging in a fight. It kind of it's got a double benefit. So this is this is really good starting. 
I would I would run this if you're new as one of your one of your perks um, to run. Uh, otherwise, like I said, full damage you those two. Now the only other damage one I would run besides these two would be reckless attack. This is really good if you are ha if you feel like you're going to engage against uh, clerics or fighters, anyone with PDR. This will shred them if you get it off. But keep in mind, just with Achilles Strike and with Reckless Attack, both of them are a one and done. You hit a wall, you hit the ground, you hit a mob, and you use these or whatever. They they you have to wait for the cooldown. So you got to be careful when you use these. I would never recommend using both of these together because that is that is if you miss at all, your skills are going to be on such a cooldown in a fight that you will probably die. So I would avoid running both of these. You can run one or the other with Rage, and it'll work. Um, I feel like I get more out of Achilles Strike than Reckless, but it all depends on what you go against. This is good against running classes, rogues, rangers, wizards that are trying to run away. You can hit them with it. And this is good against uh, fighters and clerics, uh, and classes with more PDR, or even other barbarians too with PDR. So I'd run that. Uh, if you're running a full team build, so this is this is good for solo. These two are good solo. Avoid these two, and then War Cry is good with teaming it, with your teammates. It increases their max HP and yourself by 25% for seven seconds. This is good if you're trying to engage. So if you're if you want to run a pure teammate help build, I'd run Savage Roar and War Cry. Um, these two are really good. You can increase their health and reduce the enemy's damage. Combo wombo them together and the, you're gonna shred your enemies. I mean, you're gonna shred them. But if you're doing goblin caves or even ruins, I would run Achilles Strike and Rage. And you can even run these in trios. It's not necessarily just uh, solos. But these are good. These are just really good damage with the perks that you run. So yeah, that'll be the end of the skills. I will try and show you guys some techniques to try to avoid some damage in the game and kind of show you guys how i usually play to try to help myself out so yeah i'll jump right into that all right so the first tech i want to try to teach you guys is how to avoid taking damage when you are swinging your axe because sometimes when you swing it and they're about to swing sometimes the ai's can mess with you and and bait you and you try going for the swing and you're trying to back up sometimes they'll hit you um, he didn't hit me this time because it stopped him, but sometimes he will hit you when you're swinging. So the best tech I can teach you as a barbarian with this beginning axe is to, if you're starting to swing and he's going to swing, to turn around and walk straight to avoid the damage if you, if you have to. Because why you want to do that is you, when you walk backwards, you are actually going significantly slower than just walk, walking normally. And I mean, you're crouching. Your crouch walking is actually faster than your uh, back walking. It's like, I think it's like 60% walking uh, speed if you're backing up, and then like 65% if you're crouched, and then obviously 100 if you're walking. So just keep that in mind. You're better off in a fight, turning around and coming back. Do kind of like a curve if you want to. Avoid the damage. Kind of like that. Get that movement going. The movement, it will be really helpful to avoid damage. All right, so another tech I'm going to teach you guys is if you decide to use the crush perk that allows you to break uh, containers or break the door, um, I'm going to try to teach you how do you break the door effectively because I ran into the issue when I first started. I'm sure some people, some people will too. Where when you're trying to swing, you are just accidentally hitting the corner here. Or sometimes when you're swinging, you're hitting the top by accident depending on like the doorway luckily this door is bigger so you don't have to deal with that but sometimes you run into that issue now what i would recommend is that if you are using any type of double hand weapon almost all of them have some type of uh whoops uh some type of side attack right so with the side attack the best spot that i've aimed at no matter what weapon i've used that is guaranteed at hitting is the corner here if you sit right at the corner of the door and you look right at it and you right click you will hit the door every time i have yet to have an issue where i haven't so this is probably the the pointer this is a good spot to aim every single time if you're getting chased by someone and you need to get out quick boom just like that so or like i said if it's a big enough doorway just use the left click there's nothing wrong with that with the axe but 
that's what i would recommend for that Alrighty. so the last and final thing i want to talk about is going to not necessarily be attack but just the what can i run if not the battle axe like what other weapon should you run as a barbarian um if you're just getting sick of it you have a little bit of money or maybe you're just struggling so the, the highly recommended one for like pvp i would probably be horse and zax felling axe those are just quick and they hurt uh and they also are pretty decent for pve so right now we're in a kind of a i don't know if it's a meta per se or just it's, it's a we're in a place where speed is key right now and some of the two-handed weapons just can't handle that very well over the single-handed um, and just quick felling axe attacks. However, if you want to run a, a two-handed weapon, I usually run two-handed weapons, and I still, you know, wipe the floor with people. And that's the weapon I prefer is the Bardiche because it does uh, a lot more damage than the starting battle axe, and just a lot of the other weapons, it does uh, a lot of damage. But the block is really helpful honestly i've been able to perfect it a little more and it is actually works really well out of all the blocks in the game the bardish is a lot probably the easiest one to actually hit off um the quarter staff is probably second to that uh but yeah bardish is really good and its damage is good and its second attack is a poke so if you're having an issue where the enemy is like forward back you know w and s and they're just going back and forth and like stabbing you in back this is really good because they can come back in with that and you'll just Bardiche poke them right in the face and uh, they'll probably be dead after that. Uh, otherwise, the only other double-handed I would probably recommend starting off is uh, a double axe I don't have here, but uh, it's a two-bladed or like two, two axes on both sides uh, weapon. It'll be called double axe. I'd recommend that otherwise because from what I've seen and tested, it's pretty much like a better battle axe. I'm not going to lie. It's... Its uh, patterns are really, really nice. Um, its speed is really nice. Uh, the damage is higher than Battle Axe, um, but it still has like a two attack move just like a Battle Axe. So definitely Double Axe is just better than Battle Axe every time. Uh, so yeah, I'd recommend those two. Otherwise, you can run the other ones. There's nothing wrong with running the Quarter Staff or the Schweihander or the War Maul. Uh, you name it you can use any of them they all break doors all these two handed break doors even the quarter staff does if you run the crush perk so uh it'll all work that way if you want to just remember the only uh axes that don't is the horseman's axe uh and the felling axe uh, and yeah i believe that's i believe that's all of them otherwise every other axe does bust doors down anything two-handed usually busts doors down but yeah, that should be the end of my kind of uh, tips and advice for starters, uh, for people starting off on Barbarian. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try to get a guide out later for more experienced uh, Barbarians to kind of help them out a little too. So if you are a Barbarian that has some experience and you want to uh, learn or see what I kind of do, just to kind of get a reference point, then uh, yeah, stick around. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to head out now, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.